Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We're back in the action, and we are doing some football right here. This is Jaspie's bootleg eight-box football mixer random team number one, featuring all these wonderful boxes right here. Nice. That's some good stuff. A little mini helmet in there, too. Love those mini helmets. Big thanks to all of these lovely people for getting into the action. And all teams, of course, are in. Let's randomize each list. Trades are allowed to. Let's randomize each list eight times. Five and a three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight times, we got Jarrett K on the pole and Brian Berry in the 32 spot. Once again, five and a three, eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight times, we got the Niners on top and the Jets. Jets, Jets, both New York teams on the bottom, actually. After eight times, perfect. The noise in the back, folks, is us reconfiguring our inventory room and getting a lot more stuff delivered to us. So, good, good things. It's the sound of good things happening. Jared K. Niners. Vincent, you have the Packers. Jacqueline with the Bucks. Curtis with the Bengals. Isaac with the Raiders. Will with the Lions. Tony with the Broncos. Brian Watford with the Saints. Uh, Mark Nation, Jaguars. Thomas Riffle with the Dolphins. Tyler with the Rams. Amelia, you have the Redskins. Matt Buckler with the Colts. EO with the Falcons. Ryan Redman with the Browns. Mike Tower. Titans. Leonard with the Steelers. Vincent Bills. Greg Ravens. Vincent with the Cardinals. Panthers for Ryan Rayner. Michael Gallucci, you have the Chiefs. Juan, you have the Vikings. Gabe with the Bears. Michael, last spot Mojo. Steel Curtain has the Chargers. Grant with the Patriots. Brian Cook. Texans, Phillip with the Seahawks, Vincent with the Cowboys, Amelia with the Eagles, William Fulmer with the New York Football Giants, and Brian Barry with the J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. All right. That's the plan, William Fulmer. Saquon would be nice. Maybe out of that select, out of that select football. Let's alphabetize by team. All right, so Steel Curtain says Chiefs for Steelers. He's obviously Steel Curtain, Steelers guy. Leonard, you want the Chiefs? There you go. Pittsburgh for Kansas City confirmed. All right, so Leonard, you now have the Chiefs. And Steel Curtain has his Steelers. There you go. <laughs> Thomas right here saying he needs a Merino helmet just like that jersey we pulled in a previous break. Nice, William Fulmer. You got, you got that Doug Baldwin fast. Vincent wants the Eagles, Amelia. What will you trade? Vincent will trade his Bills. Bengals for Bills? Maybe. Ryan Redman, finally happy that he got randomized a good team. There he, oh yeah, Browns, that's a good team. I've heard of the Browns. Bills for Eagles? Um, Ira is, you don't have the Bills. Oh, no, yeah, you know, this, sorry. Forgot that Amelia is. Let's get. Sorry, I haven't been away for a few days. All right, so looks like. So Buffalo for Philadelphia confirmed. So we'll put a lowercase t there, so if you're keeping score at home, you'll know who draws first blood in these trades. All right, anything anything else? All 
Nobody wants the Bengals, says Curtis. We'll just have to pull you all the Bengals hits then, Curtis. Easy. Easy. All right, looks like no other trades. TWC, trade window closed. We've got to close it before before more mistake, more trading mistakes are made. I'm always nervous about trades. So you guys are a lot more bold than I would be. Not if they're all bucks hits, J. Mike. Not if they're all bucks hits. All right, so here is the official printout right here on a Wednesday. We're back in action, back from our industry conference in Arizona. And here we are ready to go. Welcome back, everybody. All right. So remember, 2018 Elite Football, all in their college uniforms. Um, there's no group break checklist is what we usually use to match these up with their pro teams, but they did not do it for this particular set. So we're going to use our usual college rules, which is they will go to the team they are currently on, the autographs. The hits will go to the teams they're currently on. Or if they're, or the team that they were most recently, pro team they were most recently associated with. So whether as a practice team thing, like let's say they're in, they're in the AAF, or they're in the CFL or something like that. I'll go to the team that they were working with most recently. But obviously for the bigger name rookies, it'll, it'll be pretty obvious where they go. Unless, I don't know, unless, <laughs> unless Sam Darnold gets traded, was got traded yesterday. Unlikely. Packs are kind of hard to open. All right, there we go. All right, good luck, everybody. Let's, try, let's adjust the camera angle a tad. All right. And our first autograph is DJ Reed, a wild cat. And DJ Reed, where do you go? DJ Reed is a free safety for the Niners. So that will go to Jarrett K. Oh, James James Erie knew that. I did not know that off the top of my head. Next up is Vita Vea for the Buccaneers. Goes to J. Mike. Great big dude. And a big part of uh, the defense down there. And next up is, I think we've looked this guy up a couple times. It has not stuck in my head. Folo Runso. Where does Folo Runso go? Oh, 
He goes to Foley, as he's known. Um, it's a defensive end for the Jets. Yeah, I don't know if I could say his name five times fast. <laughs> no worries, J. Mike. Listen, team's only bad if they don't hit. if they don't hit. That's what I say. You can get the best team, the the perceived best team. There's Rashawn Evans. Uh, and you can get the perceived best team if they if they don't hit. That's the worst team. Why am I blanking on where Rashawn Evans goes? He is a Titan. Thanks, Sean. Confirmed. Tennessee Titan linebacker for the Titans. That goes to Mike Tower. My head's all in. My head is in baseball mode, ladies and gentlemen. So. We got Austin Allen, old Razorback Austin Allen. Everyone knows where he goes. Austin Allen is a quarterback for the Salt Lake Stallions of the Alliance of America Football League, ladies and gentlemen. The last pro team he was associated with was um, Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So J. Mike with that one. And now we've got Oklahoma's Orlando Brown. What can what can Orlando Brown do for you? When's the combine, everybody? When's that happening? This third rounder goes to the Ravens, and that'll be for Greg. Greg got Greg J. Got randomized the. Purple Birds. Offensive tackle. Combine starts this Saturday, says Braden. Nice. I'm looking, kind of looking forward to that. How tall is Kyler Murray? We'll find that out. He's going to the Combine, right? Kind of has to, right? All right. So that was some college. Now... Let's get into, we'll go select, we'll go plates and patches, then we'll go limited, then we'll go mini helmet, and then we'll go panini one. We'll close out with that encased hit. Whoa, hey oh, Mike Tower says Kyler Murray will be, will be at the combine unless... There's a you must be this tall to ride this ride. Ooh, savage. Kyler Murray, if you're listening, I apologize on behalf of Mike Tower. Throw, throwing that shade. Well, I, I just heard this on the radio today when I was driving to work here, folks. Um, driving to the studio. Apparently, Raiders GM Mike Mayock was asked if Derek Carr is their franchise quarterback. He responded by saying, Derek Carr is a franchise quarterback. What does that mean? He's a franchise quarterback? He didn't say our franchise quarterback? The Raiders franchise quarterback? He said a franchise quarterback. I don't know what that means. Maybe he's getting traded. Ooh, Bob Wessel, you're... Is going to be, do you want to be our correspondent from the Combine, Bob? He's going to be at the Combine. 
Which makes me nervous that the Raiders are going to get Kyler Murray. <laughs> don't get Kyler Murray. I don't know if the, I don't know if the Raiders are equipped to, to, to take on a Kyler Murray. Jersey and autograph. I mean, he, he Kyler Murray could really only go to sp like specific teams that are that are ready built for that kind of that kind of quarterback. Thirty out of forty nine. Jersey and auto. Kalen Balaj. That goes to the Dolphins. Thomas for the Dolphins. There's Jared Goff. Purple die cut. Goff will go to the Rams, of course. That die cut going to Tyler. Jay saying that he should have gone to baseball. Poor dude will get beat up and have health problems later in life. Well, it was his choice. I think he should have gone to baseball as well. But 10 out of 75, Jared Goff. But if he loves the football, do what you love. Josh Adams out of 49. Yeah, thanks, Bob. Yeah, it'd be nice to see, uh, you know, you don't check in and for a couple moments and t let us know how the experience is going. I want to I want to go someday. Braxton Berrios for the Patriots. That goes to Grant. Gilo says when Jaspi Fest happens, you want to be a field reporter? You want to be next Aaron Andrews? All right. There's Aaron Donald to 199. Tricolor. What uh, Mike Tower asking, what position do I want drafted first for the Raiders? Probably, I mean, probably defense. I would say defense. There's Deshaun Watson, Jersey. Uh, we've been, uh, some, some mock drafts has had a defensive end, Josh Allen. Defensive Josh Allen going to the Raiders, which should be pretty good. I feel like there are there are some free agent opportunities out there on the offensive side of the ball that the Raiders could uh, could capitalize on. There's Saquon Barkley, ninety nine. <laughs> I I, will, I may throw something at the TV, Mike Tower, if at the at the draft they're like we got him because he's a Khalil Mack type. No, Brandon, you don't even have to JK that Raiders do need all positions. <laughs> Everyone asks me, hey, Joe, uh, what, what, what do you think the uh, Raiders' biggest need is? And I say everything. Like, who should they draft? Everybody. Best available at every point. You know? The Raiders can't get too cute. Drafting Kyler Murray, I think, would be a little too cute. Right? They have to draft everybody. Like, the best available. All rounds. Best available, best available, best available. Yes, we are, we are reconfiguring our inventory room, Vincent. So yes, yeah, someone is breaking something in the background. We're taking down all of our our uh, metal shelves, and we are reorganizing them to to account for all of the new inventory that we're gonna have. Who was their best draft pick from last year? I don't see. I honestly don't remember. Probably Maurice Hurst. Mo Hurst was who was the defensive lineman. That could have been a first rounder, but uh, from from Michigan, he had heart those heart issues. I think people were nervous about that, but he had a pretty quietly had a solid season. All right, second box to select. Their first round pick was uh, was Colton Miller from a uh, offensive lineman who was pretty good. Lawrence Taylor, five out of five, green. That is nice. That goes to the New York football giants, William Fulmer, with our first train whistle of the week. Out of fives and under. William, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. There's Aaron Donald out of 99. Aaron Donald die cut going to Tyler. <laughs> Dallas Goddard to 175 for the Eagles. And Harold Landry is your autograph for the Titans. Mike Tower with Tennessee.
You got, you got to play to the whistle. <laughs> We're only like two, three boxes in. And Curtis is like already Bengals are letting me down. What about Panini 1? What about two boxes of limited plates and patches? The mini helmet. Not a lot of boxes to go. Carry on Johnson to 199 for the Lions. Dak Prescott out of 75. All right, limited football then, James. <laughs> or plates and patches. Are they not in are they not in Panini One? And there's James Washington, seven out of ninety nine, big jersey there. And that is for Michael Gallucci, who got the Steelers, his Steelers in a trade, drawing drawing first blood. All right, 2018 plates and patches. Let's see what we got in here. Tom Brady, 2018 Donners football printing plate, one of one. That goes to the Pats, of course. Who has the Pats? Grant. Grant Burnett with the Brady plate. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! All right, AJ Green reveals a Nick Mullins to 30. There's Gridiron Gear, Tyreek Hill, 31 out of 45. Nice three color dual relic for Leonard, who got the Chiefs in a trade. He traded away the Steelers. So both of those teams with a relic hit each. 31 out of 45 for the Speedster. And behind A.J. Green, 71 out of 99, is Greg Olson. Playmakers, on-card autograph, 85 out of 65. And that'll go to Ryan Rayner and the Carolina Panthers. Nice. All right, now we'll get to some limited football, 2018 limited football. Two boxes of that. Two autographs and one memorabilia per box on average. Was that Curtis 85 to 65? Is that what I said? <laughs> it's my Monday, folks. On what card? Did I say that on the Olsen card? Huh. 58 out of 65. Crippled with uh, with dyslexia, Curtis Gardner. It happens. All right, what should I do first? Can I do the relic only first? I think this might be the relic only. Doug Baldwin, 15 out of 25, reveals a Derrick Henry primetime relic, 24 out of 50. Nice two-color patch for Mike Tower and the Titans. Derrick Henry really, really looking good last year. Behind Mitch Trubisky is Ronald Jones II. Two color patch and autograph. 007. Do 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 do. Out of 199, another Buccaneer for J. Mike. And behind Case Keenum is Nick Mullins. Nice rookie auto. 97 out of 199. Jared K with the Niners. A 
Another one. Another box of 2018 limited football. Oh, by the way, after doing that select, we have a full case of select available. Full case picker team available on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Right now, if you're watching live, we have seven teams left on that. So if you want to do a full case, I'm down. We've got plenty of time tonight to do it. your base cards. Let's see if I can snag the relic first. I think this is the relic first. 20 out of 49 behind Robbie Anderson is Jared Goff. 45 out of 50. Limitless. Three color limitless patch for Tyler and the Rams. Uh, they do not, Mike Tower. They haven't had that for a little bit since 2014 or 15. All right, behind Jordan Reed is Jaleel Scott. Two-color patch, and autograph for the Purple Birds. 220 out of 299. They do have AAF, though. Yes. Uh, Ravens, Greg with the Ravens. And behind Jarvis Landry is Judge Ito Smith. Three color patch and autograph. 90 out of 299. EO with the Falcons. All right. Let's do the mini helmet, and then we'll close with the encased card right here. Mike Tower saying, guessing the AF won't be as good as USFL. Well, I don't know. It seems like there's more, more league backing for the AAF, broadcasting their games on NFL Network. Looks like uh, CBS is, also has broadcasting rights for the AAF. So I think they're really kind of pushing it. I don't know how it'll turn out, but I, I'm thinking it, it almost looks like... Uh, it almost looks like uh, they want to turn it into like a like the basketball developmental league. I think that's the idea. All right, where is the card here? So we can play the Who Am I game. Juan Posada saying, "Boo, no hit." Oh, we're not even. We're not done with the break, Juan. We got two break, two boxes left. Two boxes left. We're not done. Who am I? I am a Heisman Trophy winner. Try not to get... Uh, I, in 2000... Well, in, in, I have led the NFL in rushing with 1,853 yards. I'm a Heisman Trophy winner from the University of Texas. Held the NCAA career rushing yardage, rushing touchdowns, and scoring records. Drafted in 1999, fifth overall. 1998, Heisman Trophy winner. There you go. Jake Cohen's got it. Boom. Ricky Williams. Dolphins edition. There's his auto right there. Nice. We met we met uh, Ricky Williams. I think at, at, a, at a panini party at the National a while back in Chicago. He was a really nice guy. Spent a lot of time with me and Nick Jaspi, and we had a good conversation. That goes to uh, Thomas. Thomas Riffle with the Dolphins. There you go, Thomas. Nice. Let me... Uh, Mark this down right here, and then we'll do the box of Panini 1. And 
this is RT1. All right, and the last one. He did not have his helmet on the entire time. I don't think he was stoned. Um, there's nothing wrong with that, right? Everyone in California is. Um, all right. <laughs> did he have his helmet on the entire time? Last hit. Good luck, everyone. We have a Panther. 23 out of 99, DJ Moore. Nice dual relic, nice autograph. And there's the number right there, 23 out of 99. That goes to the Carolina Panthers, Ryan Rayner, with the very last hit out of our eight-box bootleg mixer from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Keep an eye out for more mixers and other fun stuff. Right there, jazbeescasebreaks.com. That's the website. Go check it out. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.